And it has been dry in southeast Georgia and the low country after a wet start to the week. Joining us now, Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Nelson. So, Jeremy, are we going to see any of that rain this week here? Well, that system is now gone, but we're watching one to the west, which could bring some showers, maybe a thunderstorm in here very late tomorrow. Okay. All right, if you have outdoor plans tomorrow, we'll get to future cast, kind of break it down hour by hour for you. But Thursday, before that rain would potentially get here, the pollen count, check that out. High numbers on Thursday. It stays fairly elevated Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that's mainly because we'll have a lot of sunshine those days and also dry conditions. Thursday, that high pollen count is primarily before 6 p.m. All right, let's talk current conditions across our area and where we're headed for this evening. We're dry. We're mild on average once we get past 6 p.m., about 73 degrees early this evening. Overnight, nice and comfortable, mostly clear skies, 59. And for Thursday afternoon, dry through 6 p.m., looking at temperatures that will top out right around 80. Now, rain chances moving forward, 30% chance on Thursday, but that is after 6 p.m. No chance of rain right now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We had a chance in earlier on Friday, but it looks like that would be before 6 a.m., so we'll just basically wrap that into Thursday evening and Thursday night's rain chance. Here's Futurecast now, the updated timing, and we'll show you when that rain could potentially start to impact our area. Not for the morning commute. Tomorrow will stay nice and mild for Thursday morning. Highs upper 70s to around 80 degrees, a couple degrees cooler near the coast. And here's what we're watching. 6 p.m., a line of showers and thunderstorms just passing through Macon, about to approach Augusta, and maybe starting to near areas like Hazelhurst, Vidalia, Metter, and maybe even into parts of Scraven County. All right, let's zoom this in and pause this between 9 and 10 p.m. Could have some showers and thunderstorms out there. One or two of these could be on the strong side. There's a very low risk of severe weather tomorrow, primarily to the west of I-95. Showers will weaken as they approach the coastal areas, and then it's all gone by 6 a.m. on Friday. Leave the umbrella at home for the last day of the work week. Instead, grab the sunglasses and maybe even make plans to grab a bite to eat outside. All right, let's talk rainfall amounts now. This is through 6 a.m. on Friday, so primarily late Thursday into early Friday. If we do see a line of thunderstorms approach our area, it may dump a half inch of rain or more, possibly approaching an inch in spots, but it's going to be very spotty. Odds are better that you stay under a half inch with this system. We'll just have to see how far to the east those thunderstorms line up. Future temps tomorrow morning, nice and comfortable. Mid to upper 50s across the area. And as we move into the afternoon, mid 70s around lunchtime. After that, we should warm into the lower 80s out ahead of that system. And once we move into Thursday evening, that's when we'll watch a couple showers and thunderstorms possible across the area. Here's a seven day forecast now, 82 degrees on Thursday. Then we'll drop back a little bit closer to 80 or either side of that right through this upcoming weekend. Nighttime lows primarily in the 50s. Great sleeping weather at night going into next week. 77 on Monday, 81 on Tuesday and Wednesday, 83 degrees. We'll have even cooler nighttime lows next Monday and Tuesday as we start to pull our winds in from a more northerly direction. But obviously we're keeping an eye on that rain chance 